Hi Corona, I'm Sergio. And I'm Chase. And this is CDS TV. Attention Aztecs, do you need help in water and morphy classes? NHS tutoring will resume next week. Tutors are available Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30 in E89 and Wednesdays from 1.30 to 2.30 in E264. Please sign up using our, the QR code. Corona del Sol will be hosting a regional college fair this Sunday, February 4th from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. The fair will host 70 different colleges, so come on by. For more information, please stop by the counseling office. Stay tuned for some CDS TV original content. Things in teachers' rooms that just make sense. Part one. So I'm Mrs. Fleming, and my favorite thing in my room are the origamis uh, that are behind me. There's a thousand cranes. We made it in our Japanese unit. Uh, each kid learned how to make a crane, and when you make an individual crane, it represents um, good fortune or um, prosperity in the future. And then if you make a thousand of them, your wish is supposed to come true. So we made them and strung them together and put them on display for everyone to see. I'm Mr. All, and my favorite thing in my room is the life-size cutout of Hasbula. Okay, so I am Dawn Schmidt. I teach in the Social Studies Department. I teach World Geography and Honors U.S. History this year. And my most important object in this classroom, or one of my most important objects, is my world map in the front of the room that was hand-drawn by a student. Uh, years ago, I had a student who was incredibly gifted with her art and her skills and every project we did in class was just beautifully done and since I have no artistic skill it always impressed me. So I asked her to make me a map of the world and so she did that and then incorporated the historical locations and made it, it's this beautiful kind of watercolor hand-drawn map of the world and I love it and that's why it's one of my most prized possessions in my classroom. If you are planning on taking a real to lotto dual enrollment course in the spring, enrollment is open. Please log into your account and add the course ID given to you by your teacher. You can also find the course codes on dual enrollment website. The last day to enroll is February 12th. Do not wait until February. Since there are placement tests that need to be taken, please see Ms. Fleming in E269 or Mrs. Schmidt in E281 if you have any questions. Let's, Let's tune in for our first round of lip sync battles. Hey Corona, I'm Kai and I'll be your host for the 2024 lip sync battles. It looks like we're off to an amazing start. Our lineup this week is going to be Chico versus Blanco and Wiley. Let's roll the tapes. Might be too strong out on compliments overdose on confidence started not to give a f and stop fearing the consequence drinking every night because we drink to my accomplishments faded way too long i'm floating in and out of consciousness and they saying i'm back i'd agree with that i just take my time with all this i still believe in that i had someone tell me i fell off who i needed that and they want to see me pick back up well where i leave it at i know i exaggerated things now i got it like that tuck my napkin in my shirt Cause I'm just mobbing like that You know good and well that you don't want a problem like that You gon' make someone around me catch your body like that No, don't do it 
please don't do it. Cause one of us goes in and we all go through it. And Drizzy got the money, so Drizzy gon' pay it. Those my brothers, I ain't even gotta say it. That's just something they know. They know, they know, they know. They know. Those were sick, right? I sure hope you guys think so. Make sure to vote using the QR code to decide who goes to the semifinals. Hey Aztecs, the Young Life Club is meeting every Thursday during both lunches, fourth lunch in E202 and fifth lunch in E204. Come join us for fun, faith, friends, and a donut. All are welcome. Attention seniors, FAFSA February is here. Our College Connect advisor, Naomi Sanders, will be hosting FAFSA workshops every Thursday in February during both lunches to help you with all things FAFSA and financial aid for college. The FAFSA workshop will be held in the counseling office and attendance will be entered into a drawing to win a $10 gift card. So stop by the counseling office during your lunch starting next Thursday, February 8th. Let's go over to Leah with BSU for a quick PSA. Hey Corona, I'm Leah. As many of you know, it's time for the lovely celebration of Black History Month. On behalf of BSU, CDS TV is taking time this February to teach and celebrate Black History. Black History Month serves as not only a reminder of those who have shaped our history, but our music, our clothing, our economy, and essentially the world as we know it. This month is an opportunity to recognize our ancestors as well as continue the good fight. Above all, this month is dedicated to the voices of black people everywhere and a reminder of the beauty and the power that we possess. So come celebrate Black History Month with BSU every Tuesday in room C136 with me and Ms. Moore. Everyone is welcome. It's not too late to join the CDS Book Club. Join us for an adventure with contemporary, high interest books. Dive into animated discussions, forge your friendships, and let the reading adventures begin. At last month's meeting, members chose the thriller The Only One Left by Riley Sager as their February read. This exciting thriller is about a woman who takes a job caring for the elderly invalid Lerna Hope, who was excused decades ago of murdering her parents and young sister. She slowly unravels the truth behind Hope, murders, and missing nurse. Meetings are the last Thursday of the month after school at Men's Sidecraft's room, E216. Email kzentcraft at tempeunion.org to get a copy of Parent Permissionship and start reading. We'll see you on February 29th, ready to discuss The Only One Left and vote on March's book. Sadly, we are facing an epidemic in fentanyl-related poisonings. As a result, there's a strong possibility that you may find yourself in a situation with someone that has overdosed. In that moment, here's what you need to remember. First, Call 911 immediately. Stay on the phone with the 911 operator and listen for instructions that may help save that person's life. Second, stay on scene. Wait for help to arrive. You have vital information to provide to first responders. Third, Arizona has a good Samaritan law, which prohibits anyone who sought medical assistance related to an overdose from being charged or prosecuted for possession of drugs or any controlled substance. Doing these things may mean the difference between life and death. Because with fentanyl, there may not be a second chance. I'm Chase. And I'm Sergio. And this was CDS TV.
The girls just want fun. Yeah, yeah. The boys.